I found a line. We'll go up the trail a little farther and cut into the jungle. Yes, Buona Lee. On can go balala. There's a big animal in there, maybe the lion. Set up the camera here, quick. Never leave his buona, you know that. Me no, Chief Donka. But me not run from lion or elephant. But this, uh, this is not animal, like something me never see. Maybe spirit devil. Tembu, it wasn't a spirit. Maybe there's others. Me not want to go in jungle again. If you want them to go with you, buona Evans, I'll give the order. Well, I hate to force them to, Chief. That monster was a horrible looking thing. And I don't blame them for being afraid with only one rifle to protect them. But I can't give up till I get the pictures I need. If there are any more of these beasts around, I want to find out about them. I think I'll ask Larry Sanders to help me. Good. Buona Sanders, big hunter. He come with us, me go. I'll send for him right away. Can one of your men take a message to town for me? Of course. Thank you. I'll have him take my film in at the same time to be developed. Uh, Naganto! I tell her I'll be out day after tomorrow. Another hunting expedition, Sanders? Hey, you might call it that, Stanley. Only this time I won't be guiding a regular safari. A friend of mine, a girl named Jean Evans, wants me to help her hunt down some weird sort of monster. Sounds interesting. Where is she? Utanga district. Utanga? I didn't think Chief Danker liked to have white hunters in his district. Well, Jean isn't exactly hunting. You see, she's, she's shooting motion pictures of wildlife for the International Foundation. Anyway, she has a pretty good in with the Utanka tribe. Well, she must have if old Danka... Say, is she the one they call the Panther Girl? Yeah, that's right. She earned the name and reputation about a year ago. She's trying to get some Utanga natives together for a picture safari. They wouldn't help. It seems about the time Jean arrived in their village, a Black Panther started raiding it. Well, the natives blamed the raids on Jean's evil spirit. Which proves that a few years in a mission school just can't root out the superstitions of centuries. Yeah, it sure does. Old Chief Danker may speak pretty good English, but when you get right down to it, he still believes in voodoo and black magic and all that sort of thing. Anyway, Gene was in a pretty rough spot. Until one night, a native visitor from the city here decided to go out after dark. It was foolish, but he did it. He was bound and determined to cut some bamboo. Yes, he is, but you can't go there. It's the Killer Panther. Yes, Black Panther, Black Magic. Well, now's a good chance to get rid of him.
after that, Gene brought the native back to the village and he recovered. The Utangas gave her the panther girl name and pitched in to help her get her pictures. She sounds like a girl who could take care of herself. Mm, she is. That's what makes me think this must be something special. I'm really anxious to find out just what kind of an animal it is that makes Gene Evans call for help. Wait a minute, have a check, please. Here's another one for you to work on. You're sure the first one is dead? Yeah, one of our natives found pieces of claw on the trail. So we'll grow another one. What you know about chemistry, Morgan, you could write your own ticket in any country in the world, even if they did run you out of the States. Perhaps, but chemists are not generally too well paid for research. And if I tried to sell my services to the kind of people who would really pay big money, I'd get in trouble with the authorities again. Besides, this diamond mine project of ours should bring us in all the money we'll ever need. Yeah, if and when we get the stuff mining out of the country. You know, this government's pretty tough on people who want after diamonds on their own hook. Of course, but the authorities have no idea there are diamonds in this district. And there'll be no one around to bother us once we scare the natives out of the country. After our new specimen here has consumed these hormones, he'll be big and fierce enough to do the job. All right. We'll start him growing. Then we'll go back to the mine and get out some more gravel. You'd better go to the Utanga village first, see if the natives are beginning to panic yet. Chief Danker don't like us hanging around there. I know, but as long as you convince him you're not hunting in his territory, he won't bother you. Here. Let's head to the village. Buona lady go riverbank. Take pictures of alligator. Say, when you come, you stay there. All right, Timbo. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like we got visitors. some hunter driving through. Gear's still in the Jeep. Well, we better find out. It's bad enough having that girl hanging around. We don't want anybody else here. Come in. Oh, hello. My name's Larry Sanders. Staying here long? Well, yeah, maybe. Why? Because we don't want strangers hanging around here, and neither do the natives. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about the natives. I get along pretty well with them. Well, they won't get along with us. We're working on a deal to get the natives to let us hunt in this territory. We don't want anybody butting in. Now, just a minute. I happen to be here at the invitation of Miss Evans. I intend to stay whether you like it or not. Think so? I know so. Well, we're gonna make it so rough on you, you'll be glad to get out in one piece. Huh? Just when is this lesson supposed to start? Right now.
going on around here? These two characters want to run me out of the district. You know them? They've been around here before. They say their names are Cass and Rand. They're supposedly looking for hunting territory. That's right. We want a hunting territory of our own. What's wrong with that? I told you before, my people will never allow you to hunt in the Utanga. Well, uh, we thought you might change your mind. I can promise you I won't. Now, you heard Chief Danker. He says no hunting, that's exactly what he means. You might as well be on your way right now. Thank you, Chief Danker. Don't mention it. Mbessa. Well, that was a fine way to welcome you to the village. It's all right, Gene. It wasn't really your fault. It was a surprise, though, to find men like that in the Utanga district. Any more of them around? No. The only other white man is Dr. Morgan. He lives by himself in a bungalow over in the Raturi tribe's district. What's he doing there? Conducting some kind of chemical experiments. I paid him a visit once, but he was too absorbed in his work to be very friendly. <laughs> Sounds like quite a character. Let's not worry about him, though. What's all this story about some kind of a jungle monster? Larry, this is fantastic. It's, it's unbelievable. I, I think I got some good film of it, though. I sent it to town to be developed. You can see for yourself when I get it back. Of course, between now and then, we may hunt down another one of them. Well, that's fine, but you still haven't told me what the thing looks like. Well, it, it sounds ridiculous, but it looks like a, a huge overgrown crawfish. A crawfish? Yes, a crawfish. You mean like a... like a little lobster? Oh, gee. You'll see. You're big enough. Yeah. Well, your bug is growing up. But do you want to turn him loose with Sanders around? Yes, it may work to our advantage. If a Utanga or two were killed by the uh, devil beast, in spite of the protection of Sanders and Miss Evans, the tribe would be sure to panic. I see what you mean. They might even take their scare out on Sanders and the Panther Girl. Exactly. Now get some of your Raturi natives to carry the crate close to the Atanga village and then dump them out. You think we can still count on those Raturis? Certainly. As long as you keep giving them my special tonic, they'll do anything you tell them to. Yeah, but they keep wanting more all the time. Naturally. The compound is habit-forming. The user requires increased doses. But I have plenty of it on hand. <laughs> be carrying that crate anywhere. We must get that creature closer to the Utanga village. Have some of the Turais drive it in that direction. OK. Also, tell them to stop anyone from shooting it. Give them enough of that tonic, and they won't mind attacking white men if they have to. Right. You savvy? No, let white man kill devil beast. We fix. All right, get going. Ungo, kaya. Ungo, 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 kara. Ungo. Ungo, 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 kaya. Devil spirit, come this way. It's all right, Timber. We'll take care of it. You and the other boys go back to the village. Yes, Bond.
Stop it. Tell you what, Gene, you follow it from here, slowly. I'll circle around and try to get in front of it. Right.
I'm all right. Except for the shoulder. You're lucky you still have a shoulder. Come on, Panther girl. Let's get back to the village and break out the first aid kit. We didn't see what happened, but Aturi said the girl didn't seem to be hurt very bad, and Sanders took her back to the Utanga village. Hey, Aturi said that Sanders wounded the claw monster, but he didn't know how bad. Well, we can grow another in less time than it would take a wounded one to recover, if it would recover. Okay, we'll go back to the mine. Well, you'd better stay away from there for a while. There are too many people around now. How can we get any diamonds if we don't keep digging? Actual possession isn't important at the moment. We know the diamonds are there. No one else does. There'll be plenty of time for digging after we've frightened the Utangas and the white friends out of the district. Here. Take care of this. Then go to the Utanga village and find out what progress we're making. Well, Sanders might take a shot at us. You know he won't. And you have a good chance to play on his sympathies now. Tell him you've heard rumors of these strange monsters and you're concerned about your own safety. All right. We'll give it a try. Now what do you suppose they want? We'll soon find out. If you're looking for another fight? Don't blow your cork, Sanders. We got other troubles. What's this story the natives are telling about some monster running around loose in the jungle? Anything to it? It's true enough. I have some pictures of one here. Are they really dangerous? They're dangerous. Miss Evans' pictures ought to prove that. We were just going to run them. You want to see for yourselves? Thanks. We'd like to. Come on in. Sit down. Part of the thrill is film I took of other animals. We'll have to run through it first. All right, Jane. The lion scared everything else away. Now we're coming to the monsters. Say that's enough. What do you suppose they are? They look like gigantic crawfish, but I've never heard of such a thing. Neither have I. Looks too tough for me. I'm pulling out. We can find a hunting ground somewhere else. And you can say that again. What are you people going to do? Well, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to take that film into town and show it to the district commissioner. Once he sees it, he'll send us enough men to clean out the whole jungle. That makes sense. But I still don't like it. Thanks for tipping us off. Now I know why you asked them in. Sure. If that film scares them away from here, it'll be good riddance. But just in case they don't scare easy, we'd better be ready for anything they might start. When that troop of constables get here, we'll really be washed up. The commissioner will never believe Sanders' story unless he sees those pictures. And Sanders isn't taking a film into town until tomorrow. That's right. So it'll still be in the girls' bungalow tonight. that reel of film. Get something to tie her up with.
Get over against the wall. Good thing we rigged up that little burglar alarm. <laughs> it worked fine. What were they after? The film. But don't ask me why. Uh, the police can probably figure out when they question this one. Sanders is taking Cass and the film to town tomorrow, eh? I guess so. You'll have to stop him. I don't care how you do it, but you must get Cass and that film away from Sanders. I'll try. That's far enough. Let's get back in the brush.
Cass got away with the film. That's all we wanted anyway. Come on. What did you do with Sanders' Jeep? Left it in the Utaga country. I wasn't going to bring it here. Of course not. The worst of it is, Sanders will be gunning for us now. He might even get some constables to help him. You'll have the whole jungle to yourselves once Chief Bent gets people are scared away. Sanders and the girl will have to leave then, too. It'll still be a lot safer if we got rid of them first. Naturally. Don't miss any opportunity to eliminate them. Now about the mining. We'll let that go for the time being. How can we make any money that way? How much would we make if anyone learned what we're doing? Illicit diamond mining is very dangerous business. We'll wait until it's safe. In the meantime, we must keep our monsters near the Otanga village. The one in the crate is big enough to release now. All right. We'll dump them out and get the beaters to herd them toward the village. Good. But remember, you and the natives must protect it. We'll take care of the claw monster. Hey, this is the crate, Ebu. Yeah, we want to be as far away as we can when we dump it. Morgan doctor him up. Hey, wait. You go, you Tanga village. White woman fix you up. You say uh, devil beast caught you in jungle near the village. I don't get it. It'll help two ways. That shoot up arm will throw a scare into the village natives. And if Sanders and that girl come out to look for the monster, we got a chance to ambush them. Yeah, that makes sense. Dump it. toward the village. It's a Vittori. This man was attacked by one of the monsters. His arm is badly cut. If I can use your first aid kit, I'll dress it for him. Why, of course. I'll be glad to help you. You don't need to. I thought you and Mr. Saunders would want to go after the monster at once. That sounds like a good chance, Gene. Where was this monster? Down where trail across Small River. That's only a couple of miles, isn't it? That's right. You take the camera crew up the trail. I'll get my elephant and circle around behind it. All right, you better get your equipment together. Jolly, move! Tembu, don't forget my rifle. Yes, follow me. Follow me. Follow me.
Gamboa. Go after her. It's all right. Zemba's over there. He'll catch her. We'll circle around the lake. You two take care of the monster. Did you get her? Yes, tied to a tree back there. What'll we do with her? If we leave with her, some animal will finish her off before long. Hunter drone bring animals. Good, go ahead. On a drum call, bring animals. They fight, kill. Coming from over by the lake. Those hunters might be trying to cause trouble for Miss Evans. Tembo, you take the men back to the village. I'm going to look into this. Yes, Bwana. Ungongo! Let's go. 
I guess that finishes her. Let's go. said that Sanders brought the Panther girl back to the village and she's okay. You should have made sure of her yourself. Maybe. But we figured it'd be less chance of an investigation if we let the gorilla do the job. Yes, I suppose you're right. But we must do something to get the Utanga district cleaned out so we can get on with our diamond mining before anyone finds out what we're doing. Well, Ibu says Chief Danka's people are plenty worried. But they haven't started to move out yet. Then we'll help them make up their minds. Did the girl injure that last claw monster when she shot at it? I don't know. Locate it and find out. If it's dead or hurt, we'll have to go another. All right. Those first attacks were made by Raturi tribesmen. I figured that Cass and Rand had hired them to get rid of me so they could hunt this district. Now they're going after you, too. I don't know what to make of it. I don't either. We should call in the authorities. This might be the beginning of a serious revolt. I'll ask Chief Danka to send a runner to town with a note. It's a good thought. Jean, what about this fellow Morgan? Didn't you say he lived in the jungle by himself? He lives just outside the Utanga country in the Raturi district. However, he's never had any trouble with the Raturis that I know of. That situation could change. If they've really gone on the warpath, it could be dangerous for him. I think I'll go warn him. Maybe you'd better. You stick around the village till I get back. Hmm? Hey, 
a look. It must be the one we thought they'd killed. They'll scare every tangy in the Congo. Let's go tell Morgan. Larry Sanders. Oh, I'm glad to know you. I'm glad to know you. Uh, well, I've heard about this. You have quite a laboratory here. Uh, yes, I'm doing some chemical research. Are you on safari? No, no, I'm staying over in Chief Danker's village. I've been helping Miss Evans. Oh, yes, the uh, lady photographer. I've met her. How's she getting along? Lately, not so good. We've been attacked several times by Raturi natives. Oh, that's strange. They've always seemed quite peaceable to me. Maybe so, but they've been giving us a lot of trouble. In fact, that's why I'm here. I came over to warn you. Well, I certainly appreciate you going to all that trouble. All right, now drop your guns. Hurry it up. It's better not step away from them. Go on. Dr. Morgan, do you know these men? Why, yes. Uh, that is quite casually. They've dropped in here once or twice before, said they were hunters. Potential thieves and killers would be a better description. I'm going to take you two into the commissioner. Let's go. Don't you think you ought to tie their hands? It's a long way into town. Here, I'll help you. Finish him for good. Not here, you idiot. Miss Evans is sure to know where he went. Maybe we could drag him out into the jungle. No, that won't do either. If he fails to come back, the girl will certainly notify the authorities, and this is the first place they'd investigate. You two clear out. I'll square myself with them. I'll signal you when he's gone. Okay. No, leave the guns there. Do as I tell you. I finally managed to get your gun and drive them off. I'm sorry I couldn't capture them for you. Oh, that's all right, Doctor. Commissioner's sending a constable out tomorrow to investigate this native trouble. They can check on Cass and Rand, too. Oh? Well, that should take care of them. I think so. Thanks again for everything. Well, don't mention it. Oh, and Doctor, you better remember what I said about those Raturis. Watch yourself. Oh, I will.
That's it. Let's go. We ought to be able to keep out of the way of one constable. It's an awful lot of jungle out there. Well, that wouldn't help. He'd still talk to the Maturis and find out they were working with you. And with me. We can't afford that. Well, it's no use killing the constable. They just sent out another one. That's true. But meanwhile, we'd have time to make sure an investigation wouldn't hurt us. I see what you mean. Well, they'll probably take the river trail to the Rituri country. We'll get them as they cross the river. Good. But keep out of it yourselves. There may be some Utanga bearers with them. This has to look like Rituri work. All right, Rand, let's go. Those stakes mark river crossing. You change them so white man get caught in quicksand. And you stay and kill them easy. to the Rotori country. About a mile, just across the river. Be sure you stay close to these crossing stakes. It's the only way through the quicksand. Uh -huh. Well, in that case, I'll stay real close.
got to help him. Go ahead. I'll try to keep them down. Still in one piece. That's what you mean. I winged one of those beggars up in the bank. We'd best go after him. We can get across a little farther up. Well, let's get started. Did it work? No. One white man in quicksand. Maybe dead. Other with guns shoot off to him. Him hurt bad. You come. Now, wait a minute. Morgan told us to keep out of it. Yeah. We better let it go at that. I thought the quicksand would make it a cinch, but it didn't pan out. You don't know how badly Orto was hurt, hmm? No, but it doesn't make any difference. If he can talk, he knows what to say. Yes, if the authorities believe his explanation, it might even help us. But we must still keep crowding the claw monsters close to the Atanga village where the natives can see it and back up the story. All right, I'll get Rand and we'll herd it back toward the village. Ready? Where you take me? To town, probably to prison for a long time. It's against the law to try to kill people. Even in the jungle. Me only try to kill people who bring devil beast. We didn't bring those monsters. We've been doing our best to track them down and kill them. You see them kill monster? No, they take pictures. Yes, that is all. Panther girl, bad magic, bring devil beast, make pictures for her. Devil beast kill natives. She no care. That's enough of that. Get in there. Tell Chief Donka. That kind of talk could cause trouble. Yeah. I think I'll ride along with you, Harris. Some of his friends might try to rescue him on the way in. Glad to have you. Ah! You! Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, no, no. Don't crowd him too hard. We're getting close to the village. What happened? Devil Beast killed Simba. Where? On the trail to the big spring, very close to here. How do you know it was a monster? We see tracks, claw marks, too. I'll get my rifle and go after it. No, no, no good. You hunt Devil Beast before. Never kill it. What does he mean by that? Is he blaming me for this? It's the story the Rituri tribesmen told, that your black magic brought these beasts. Do you believe that? My people do. Then I'll have to prove to them that my magic is good. How will you do that? The test of the lion, men. But you'll be killed. Not if my magic is good. Isn't that true? So we believe. 
If I prove to you my magic is good, then you'll no longer believe I made bad magic to bring monsters? We believe you, Ved. All right. Get the costume. Vanilla. magic myself. What a crazy thing to do, Gene. You might have been killed. Look, Larry, these natives believe their gods are on my side. I want to keep it that way. I agree, but why do it the hard way? Seems to me it'd be a lot easier just to hunt down those monsters. I haven't had much luck at that so far. Well, we'll just keep trying. Let's round up the crew and get started. Well, I hate to force them to go. Since the monsters have been seen so close to the village, they don't want to leave their families unprotected. All right, then, if they feel that way about it, why don't you and I just go by ourselves? Good. Go get changed. Somebody behind that. They're hurting you this way. Hey, no! Hello! Hi! Hi! Hey! 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 They're driving that thing toward the village. Ah! Well, this certainly gives us a tie-in. Yeah, but it still doesn't explain anything. Ah! If we go any further, they'll be able to hear us in the village. Yeah. We better head back for the mine. I'd rather dig out diamonds and herd these things around. You and me both. They're taking the trail to the abandoned gold mine. Maybe they're using it for a hideout. Come on. some coffee before we start to work. Yeah, I could use some. So what do we do now? We'll move in and grab them. You know, there might be something in there to explain where those monsters come from. Hold it. You're keeping cover, Gene. I'll tie their hands. Thank you. 
Now what? Yeah, we've only got one shell left. We have to hike back to the village and get some more artillery. By the time we get back here, they'll be gone. We can use my elephant on the way back. It'll save us a little time. Yeah. If they're not dead yet, they will be soon. The tunnel's blocked solid. Yeah, well, that's sad. But it'll change our whole setup. We better go talk to Morgan. Yes, this will simplify things for us. Now we must let Chief Danka know that the Panther Girl is dead. Sanders, too, of course. Well, it sure wouldn't be healthy for us to be seen in his village. Then send your Aturis. If they go there unarmed, they won't have any trouble. All right. There's a good chance the Utangas may pull out now. Then we can get back to work on the diamonds without anybody else finding out about it. I hope that's the way it'll work out. But Chief Tanka might send a runner to town and ask for a posse to look for Sanders and the girl. If that should happen, you'd better see that the runner doesn't get to town. We got our jeep handy, but I'm betting we won't have to use it. The village is in enough of a panic over the claw monsters already. And without the girl there to stop them, they'll stampede quick. They might, especially if your spies tell Chief Tanka that the claw monster killed Sanders and the panther girl. I guess we better make sure there's a claw monster close enough to the village to keep them convinced. Village. You go to village to talk. Go like friend. No need these. We'll be looking for the devil beast. Where's your elephant? She roams around that patch of open jungle across the river. I'll find her and meet you somewhere along the trail. All right, make it the first clearing across the river. Tamo and I'll walk up the trail. You'll probably get there first, so just sit tight and wait. All right. I just hope Cass and Rand will still be at the mine. That won't make too much difference. Tembo can pick up their tracks. I want to get a better look at the mine anyway. Maybe we can figure out what they're up to. Have Tembo carry my rifle, will you? Uh -huh. Tembo! Cool it like a mando. Like a man. Cool, Nivosa. Girl, she not dead. What? You sure? She ride elephant. We fix vine. Pull her off. You come. You bet we will. Look, Temple. I wonder if that's a Panther Girl's elephant. I think. I call. Well, something's happened to the Panther girl. Yes, Bila, want you go with her? Yeah. Good work. Do you follow us? Yes, Juana.
her, all right. She and Sanders must have gotten out of that mine, but how? I don't know. The question is now, how do we finish her off? Monster! There's your answer. That monster will take care of it for us. Right. Let's get behind it. Sanders now. Track them, Timbo? White men boot make plenty trail. Good. This looks like a chance to run them down. Let's get your elephant. Come on. This does it. That tracker can trail us from here to Timbuktu. We can't outrun that elephant. Yeah. We better head for the Jeep. The Tory tell Morgan we'll be back in a day or two. Well, that's that. We'll never catch him now. Yeah, but there's only one road they can take out of here, and that leads them right to town. I should have stopped that for a while. If I could get there soon enough, I could probably find him. Let's get back to the village. All right, fellas, closing time. All right, in a minute. You're under arrest. Wait a minute. Are you an officer? No, I'm making a citizen's arrest. These men are wanted. I'm going to take them in. Oh. All right. I guess none of my business. Move.
Now what? Sanders will have all the cops in town after us if we don't stop him. You can tangle with him again if you want to, not me. I'm checking out. Wait a minute. We won't have to go after him ourselves. Nick Burgess has that room right next to ours. So what? That big gorilla hasn't got sense enough to come in out of the rain. Who cares about his brains? He's the best knife fighter in this country. He'll do anything for money. If we can get him down there in time to take care of Sanders, we can get out of town. Yeah. That ought to do it. You better call the police right now before those birds fly the coop. That's just what I intend to do. I want to thank you for all you've done. I really appreciate it. Too late for a drink. Go to the bar is closed. I'm having a drink. The bar is closed. Oh, hold Mister, you better go home. Not until I have that drink. <laughs> Does anyone know you came back here? I don't see how they could. As soon as we saw Sanders leave the saloon, we took off. We didn't meet anybody on the way out. Well, you're as safe in the jungle as anywhere. But don't come around here anymore than you have to. The police will probably be looking for you now. We're no hotter now than we were before. All we did was put up a fight when Sanders tried to arrest us. And he sure can't prove we hired Burgess. No, but he'll be gunning for you now. And your only safe move is to get him first. We tried that once before. I know, but this time set a trap in a good location and lure him into it. Just how do we do that? If one of your natives went to the Utanga village and reported he saw a claw monster in a certain spot, Sanders and the girl would go there looking for him, wouldn't they? Yeah, that would get him where we want him. But we still have to finish him off. Suppose you were to plant some dynamite in the trail and touch it off at the right time. A hey, landmine. That's a good idea. Ah. We'll get the deal set up. The bartender substantiated my story about what happened to the thug, and the police let me go. But by then, Cass and Rand had a two-hour head start. I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe they came back up here. Well, that's possible. The police didn't seem to think so. At least they wouldn't send anyone out here to look for them. Well, aren't they interested in what goes on up here? Well, yes and no. You can't really blame them, Jean. Those claw monsters do sound a bit fantastic. It's pretty hard to convince anyone they actually exist. Then we'll just have to get more pictures as proof. I guess that's the only way. If the natives calm down enough, they'd be willing to help. I think so. None of the monsters have been near the village since Cass and Rand left. In that case, what is it, Chief Danker? This man of the Raturi tribe has seen a devil beast. Where? On trail, near old mine. You come kill him. You bet we will. Can you guide us to it? I show it where. Then I go. That's fair enough. Timbu, you get the camera crew together. We'll leave right away. <laughs> we'll take three rifles this time, Timbu. You'll be safe enough. All right, we go. The Joaquin, I knew it! Wait a minute. Gene. 
What is it? Take a look at this. I'd say it's a claw monster track. Pretty fresh, too. Yes, Devil Beast crossed trail short time. Go that way. No, not here. Me see Devil Beast in Canyon. Well, and this must be another one. Let's get after it. Me scared. Go now. Gene, you better leave the men here till we locate it. You stay here. We won't go far. We'll be back soon. Yes, for my lady. Well, they lie. And you me? And you me? This look all right? Yeah, go ahead. No, that's too dangerous, especially if it's wounded. Gene, seeing as we haven't had too much luck with our rifles, I think your camera would be the best bet. Why don't you get the crew and set up right here? I'll get ahead of the monster and drive it back this way. All right. What's the matter? White man see tracks. Go in jungle. Hunt devil beast there. No come here. What a break. Where is he now? Not stay on trail. Him go that way. We better try to find him. You wait. That must be him over that way. Stay here. Yes, Warner Lady. You sure dug in there? Yeah, regular fort. Hey, that dynamite ought to blast him out of there. Go back and get it.
Good work, Gene. What about Cass? Uh, he ended up the other side of the tree. He's long gone by now. Where's your camera crew? Back where we first saw the claw monster. Uh, uh, we better check on them. I had one of those monsters headed that way. <laughs> I'd say the monster got here all right. I don't see any signs of a fight. The crew probably lost their nerve and ran. Yeah. That leaves us a lot of weight to carry. Let's get at it. I understand it was a bad break. But we'll never be able to scare Chief Dank and his people away from the village as long as Sanders and the Panther Girl are alive. You'll have to try again. We haven't got a chance of working another ambush now, Morgan. They know we're trying to gun them down. Well, that's probably true. But if you and Rand dropped out of sight for a week or so, they might relax. Then you could strike. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Suppose we hole up in the mine for a while. We can screen gravel while we're waiting. Well, that's an idea. It's about time we got out some of those diamonds. Where's the screening equipment? We hit it down by the river bank. It'll only take an hour or so to get it from there to the mine. Well, all right. I guess we can risk it. But remember, if anyone sees that equipment, they'll know there are diamonds around here. And if that happens, we might as well give up. They won't see the stuff. We'll make sure of it. Cass and Rand on the loose again. It looks like we're right back where we started. We'll have a rough time making any more pictures. My camera crew won't go into the jungle again. Can't say that I blame them. Those claw monsters backed up by white men with rifles make it a pretty rough combination. Gene, why don't we forget about trying to photograph monsters for a while? Let's concentrate on, on rounding up Cass and Rand. You think we can track them from where we had the fight? Mm, that trail will be pretty cold by now. I think our best bet would be the old mine. They could still be using that for a hideout. Even if they aren't, we might find something that'll give us an idea where the monsters come from and what Cass and Rand are trying to do with them. All right. Let's take a canoe. It'll save us most of the hike through the jungle. It's a good idea. Be with you in a minute. Hey, here comes a canoe. Looks like Sanders and that Evans girl. We gotta stop them before they see this equipment. Get it out of here. It's long range, but if we let them get any closer, they'll spot the mining gear. Shots came from about a hundred yards away. Yeah, I know. We're safe enough here, but we'll never get around that bend as long as they're covering it. Hmm. I could sneak around behind and keep them busy until you get past. Well, then what? I'll meet you up there where the river widens out. I don't know, Jean. They'll never catch me in the jungle. All right, but be careful. I'll take off as soon as I hear the shooting. Okay, get 
get back there. They must have landed and circled around through the jungle. We can play that game, too. You keep them pinned down. Sanders, he was trying to sneak up the river. Good going. Must be just the girl up there now. Yeah. She's still there? I don't know. She stopped firing a few minutes ago. We better locate her before she runs onto that screening equipment. Back to the river. Let's take a look. What happened? Plenty. We sure didn't work the way we planned. So they started throwing slugs at me. Dumped the canoe and it hit me in the head. Uh, look at that. I lost my gun, too. We better get out of sight. They're probably still around here someplace. Yeah. Come on. Up that way. One revolver against two rifles doesn't give us very good odds. Yeah, and they're between us and the village. Get up to the old mine. It's not very far, and we can hold them off from there. Come on. that stuff and throw it inside. That'll smoke them out. Right. Only three shots left. Yeah, mine won't fit your gun. Get down behind you.
Well, that was a close one. Yeah. Too close. And too hot. <laughs> Jeannie, I hate to say this, but you really think you have to stay in the Otanga district? You know, there are a lot of places in Africa where you can take pictures of wild animals. I never heard of Larry Sanders wanting to quit a job just because it was too dangerous. Oh, wait just a minute. I was thinking of you. You're a girl and all. <laughs> all right, you win. But this time, let's try some different tactics. Now, let's try to trap one of those monsters. Maybe we can do it at that. Sure we can. You know, we've seen a lot of tracks on that trail leading to the river. I'll bet if we dug ourselves a real deep pit, we'd have some luck. All right. Let's head back to the village and get the natives started. Now we're really out of ammunition. I sure hope Cass and Rand aren't out there waiting for us. They probably didn't find any trace of your mining operations, but they certainly know you've been living there. So you must stay away until we see what their next move is. Make yourselves a camp out in the jungle. I don't want to risk your being seen around here. OK. We'll have a tour watch the village. Keep us posted in case Sanders and the Panther Girl try anything unusual. Very well. well that's good. All right, boys, let's get back to the village. Huh? We'll check on this first thing in the morning. One on village, man. Dig pit trap on trail the river. When? Just do. All go back to village now. You figure they're trying to trap one of those clown monsters? That must be it. Well, we've got to stop them. I don't want to run into one of those things in the dark. Me neither. We'll just have to get there ahead of them in the morning. <laughs> Got one, all right. Yeah. We've got to get him out of there. But how? Shoveling enough dirt so it can climb out. trying to wreck the trap. Well, we're a little late, seeing as we've already caught something. Larry, get the camera crew. Right. Plug 
close enough. Well, I could go after him, but I think we'd better get you back to the village and take care of that leg. Might as well. I know I've got some good film here. I don't want to take any chances on losing it. Uh, Timber, let's get this gear together. It's all right. Come on. You're on. Well, I guess they'll get their pictures all right. Maybe we can still stop them. No, we haven't got a chance against that gang and their rifles. But he has to get that film to town to have it developed. Yeah, that's right. We stopped him once before. Sure, we can do it again in the same way. You go watch Village. When White Buana leave in his car, you make drum signal. Well, here it is. You can take it to town the first thing in the morning and get it developed. All right. But don't forget what happened the last time I started to take film into town. You mean they might try to stop you again? Well, they did once before. We lost the first batch of film, Gene. I'd certainly hate to lose this one. Say, isn't there some way you can develop it yourself right here? Well, I have all the equipment, but I'm out of chemicals. Well, then we're stuck. Say, wait a minute. Logan's trading post down the river has a supply. Good. I'll take a canoe down river. Will Logan know what you need? He'll know. Then there's no problem. Oh, you, uh, you better hide that film somewhere. Just in case. Huh? Eel! Eel! White go on and go in canoe down river. He can't get to town that way. No. He must be up to something else. Well, what do we do about it? We'll grab the girl and make her give us the film. She's alone there now. Alone in the village full of natives? Oh, don't worry about them. In the shape they're in, anything will scare them off. Get that log off the road. Now. Wanda Sangawalo, Tatalu, Basie. to hit her an awful belt. I had to stop her. Sure, but she's no good to us unless she can tell us where the film is. Well, we can't wait around here for her to come to. The natives are liable to sneak back. Miss Sanders isn't likely to do anything about the film with her missing. Get some rope. We'll load her into a canoe and take her back to camp. Right. He couldn't have gone any further than the trading post. Let's get out of sight. Sanders. This time we're going to get that film.
Did you find Chief Danker? No. No, not a sign of him or his people. You think they'll come back now that things are quieted down? I hope so. If they're not back by in the morning, I think we should do something about it. Yeah. How long is it going to take you to develop the film? I should have a print by tonight. Good. I phoned Commissioner Stanton from the trading post, told him to get out here as soon as he could. Should be sometime tonight. There's a surprise in store for him. <laughs> no doubt about that. If those claw monsters look half as tough on film as they do in real life, it should convince them we need plenty of help tracking them down. Then you still don't know where the film is. Hmm? Not exactly. But it's a cinch Sanders didn't take it to town. He wasn't gone long enough. How do you know he's on his way with it now? Too late in the day. Nobody makes that trip in the dark. Then there's a good chance the film is still there. And it must be destroyed along with Sanders and the girl. Have the natives come back to the village yet? No. My scout says they're camped out in the jungle, too scared to move. Then you can make a direct attack tonight. It might not be that simple. We'll have to break into their shacks to get to them. I can take care of that for you. I have materials here for making a bomb. All you have to do is toss it through a window and there'll be nobody left inside to bother us. All ready now. Sit down, Commissioner. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. That's an understatement, sir. What is it and where did it come from? We don't know all the answers, Commissioner Stanton, but we do know that Cass and Rand have something to do with the monsters. You mean you think they brought them here? Perhaps. We aren't sure. Why don't you start from scratch? Let's all sit down. You can tell the Commissioner the whole story, huh? That's a very good idea. Well, the first time I saw one of these creatures, I, I managed to get a few pictures of it. Mm -hmm. The natives were frightened to death. They all threatened to clear out and leave me, so I called Larry in to help out. We must have hit it. Yeah, but we sure didn't stop it. Tell you what, Gene, you follow it from here, slowly. I'll circle around and try to get in front of it. Right. shoulder. You're lucky you still have a shoulder. 
Come on, Panther girl. Let's get back to the village and break out the first aid kit. So the Rituri tribesmen attacked you. Well, that's serious business. It's extremely serious, Commissioner. And we're positive now that Cass and Rand put them up to it. Yes, but can you prove that? I think so. All the evidence points that way. When Cass and Rand discovered that we had the film, mm -hmm. the first thing they tried to do was steal it. One night, they came right here to this cottage. Take it easy. All we want is that reel of film. Get something to tie her up with. Get over against the wall. If that little burglar alarm. <laughs> it worked fine. What were they after? The film. But don't ask me why. Uh, the police can probably figure out when they question this one. Yes, I remember you reported that incident, but you never got your prisoners back to town, did you? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, I got started all right, but before I went very far... You sit tight. situation has gone far enough. 
But you may be assured that my office will give you all the assistance possible. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Would you care for some tea? I should love, sir. Looks like they're in there. Yeah, go ahead and take a look. with Commissioner Stanton. They've been running some film. So what? This will take care of all of them and the film, too. like they're in there. Yeah, go ahead and take a look. <laughs> they both know with Commissioner Stanton. They've been running some film. So what? This will take care of all of them and the film, too. but we better make sure. Was it Cass and Rand again? Uh, who else? Well, you can rest assured those two are about at the end of their rope now. I'll go back to town first thing in the morning and I'll have two constables here by tomorrow night and they'll stay here till this whole situation is cleaned up. Thank you, sir. But until they get here, I think you two better stay well undercover. But we've got to do something about the village natives. We can't just leave them roaming around in the jungle. Do you think they're going to come back here now? I think we can persuade them to if we promise to protect them from those claw monsters and from Cass and Rand. At any rate, we'll get them to come back here and wait until your constables arrive. Mm. It's worth a try, but be very careful with those two outlaws. They'll stop at nothing now. Mm. That's pretty obvious. So Commissioner Stanton knows the whole story. I tell you, we'll have the constables on our trail inside of a day or two. Yes, I'm afraid you're right. Well, all we can do is get out as many diamonds as we can and be ready to run for it when we have to. Sanders and the girl know we've been using the mine for a hideout. And that's the first place they'll head for when the constables get here. Probably. But as you pointed out, we may have a day or two. You can post Raturi guards along the trail to warn you if anyone's coming. We've got the Raturis watching Chief Duncan's village. That's not important now. 
Well, maybe we can take a chance on it. We've got plenty of loose gravel ready, so it won't take long to sift out a batch of stones. Good. You can get started the first thing in the morning. Well, how about some of that jungle juice? Your private stock. Yeah, all right. You stay here, watch trail. If anyone comes, try to stop them. If you can't, run and tell us we'll be in the mine. Let's go. There's no telling where the villagers are. We'll just have to hunt for them. I think I'd better get the elephant and work through the jungle east of here. Hmm. I'll head up toward the old mine. They might be camped in that vicinity. Good. I'll meet you at the river crossing. Some of the Raturi were guarding the trail to the old mine. They attacked me, I took after. Walked right into an ambush. I heard your shots. It's a good thing you showed up. Say, did you find any trace of the village natives? There's a fresh trail just over the ridge. Also, some claw monster tracks. Yeah, we better get after them quick. They went through here not long ago. They can't be far away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Gucci. Slow down while I reload. This is real luck. Yeah, this ought to convince the natives it isn't a devil beast. Now they'll be glad to come back to the village. Let's find them. Are you sure the monster's dead? Of course. Go see for yourselves. Where are bad white men? Well, we don't know, but I'm going to check on them. There were some native guards on the trail to the mine, so the white men might be there. You think we should try to tackle them alone? No, but I thought I'd try and locate their camp. Then when the constables get here, we'll know where to look. I see. Are you ready to go back to the village? We'll go if you go with us. Well, I... Go I, ahead, Jean. I'll just do a little scouting. All right. But be careful. There may be guards along that trail. I'll be all right. Wanna come to River Trail? Him to catch Auto. Are they still there? Maybe. Let's go. Get in. Get in. You're going back to the Atanga village. When the constables get there, you're going to lead us to wherever Cass and Rand are hiding out. Watch him!
Get in. Get in. You're going back to the Yatanga village. When the constables get there, you're going to lead us to wherever Cass and Rand are hiding up. Watch him! I think we got him. Anyway, I'm not going to swim out there and find out. Let's go see Morgan. You don't even know if he's dead. And even if he is, it won't make any difference now. The authorities are sure to send someone out to run you down the claw monster, too. Yeah, but they won't know where to find us. The panther girl knows you've been hanging out in the mine. She's sure to take them there. Well, what do we do? Just what you're supposed to be doing right now. Screen out as many diamonds as you can before they get here. OK, Morgan. We'll get the natives back to work guarding the trail. Of course. And get enough to hold up any attacking party until you get clear. Hey, how about herding a crawfish down the trail? That ought to keep the cops busy for a while. I have another in the crate now, but it won't be full grown until tomorrow. I'll release it then, if we still need it. Here, give it some of this hormone compound as you go out. OK. So you think they may still be in the mine? Well, I have been using it for a hideout, and the natives said they were there yesterday. Even if they go on now, we might find some clue that'll put us on that trail. Very well. Then the mine it is. Ready? All ready. We're going to try the old mine first. Bully Taka. Awesome guy. Key town, I'm to it. Kaya. You should be able to get through without killing any of them. Kent, why don't you and Davis hold them from here while Miss Evans and I circle around their flank? All right, let's give it a try. Gee. Good work, Sanders. There's going to be a bit awkward going on to the mine with these prisoners on our hands. Mm, you're right. You and Davis managed to take them back to the village by yourselves? Of course. And that's it. You two take the prisoners back to the village. Miss Evans and I will go on to the mine. We'll join up later. Righto. Good luck. Down the trail, you chaps.
a stick of that dynamite. This mine's been dead for years. They were screening gravel. That means diamonds. Yeah. Look at these. Well, that explains everything. Almost. That's the acid for testing the stones. Say, you need a special permit to buy this stuff. Gene, if we can find out where Cass and Rand got it, we can probably find out who's been behind them in all this. Well, I doubt if they even carry that kind of acid in town. Yeah, no one would have any use for it except oil and mining and research chemists. Chemist? Dr. Morgan, he's a chemist. That's an idea. Let's check on him. certainly ties Morgan in, all right. Yeah. Let's see what he has to say. This isn't a social call, Doctor. I'll get right to the point. What do you know about diamonds in this area? A good deal. But it won't be necessary to discuss the subject. I can see you know too much about it already. This flask contains a very quick-acting poisonous gas. If I break it in front of you, I'll make it to the door, but you won't. Put those guns on that chair. Will you? All of them. Push it over here. That's far enough. And step back. Now we can discuss this more calmly.
It's amazing. According to these records, Dr. Morgan was quite a guy. Yes, he might have been one of the world's greatest scientists if he hadn't been in such a hurry to make money. As it is, the growth hormones he developed are the most effective ever known. Then you're sure he grew these claw monsters? Oh, yes. We tried the stuff on ordinary crawfish and the results were identical. Well, isn't it dangerous to create any more of these monsters? No, it's not too risky. You see, they only live a few days after they've attained their full growth. Have you given the stuff to any other animal? Yes, we've experimented with rats and mice, but we find the stuff's deadly poison to any warm-blooded animal. Well, that's a shame. You know, I've given serious thought to taking a shot of it myself. Oh, but you couldn't do that. The stuff's deadly poison. Don't you think we might have a dish of tea? 